Hey, this is Jeremy from Northern Kentucky, and you are watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJV. fear uh, sometimes I have to wait in my truck while they do it which is fine they want to do all the work themselves fine but I, I'm willing but if they say no all right I'll sit in here and I'll play games on my phone while you work all right if that's what you want me to do that's what I'll do <laughs> but anyway yeah we got to deliver and then I have to go pick up a new load this afternoon in Brantford Ontario and then I have to go find a place to park for the next two days because I need a reset before I can enter the United States again. I need to reset my logbook, and uh, I don't have to be in Illinois until Monday, and today is Thursday, and it's only a one-day drive, so I only have to leave on Sunday. But who knows, maybe I'll leave Saturday, that way I only have to be here one day and just hanging around. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's my motto now, right? We'll see what happens. You never know. Things change, life goes on, but the world never ends. You know, people always say the world is going to end, the world is ending. This is it, this is it. The world, is no, still keeps going. I put on my mask and everything and they still don't want me. They told me to stay in my truck. So, hey, I tried to help, I wanted to work, but they said, no, no, Trucker Josh, no, no. You go and play games on your phone. Will work. Are you sure? I'll work. I'm ready, I'm here. I got my mask and everything. Nope. No, you you just stay in your truck. Go have a nap. Go relax. We'll do everything. If you say so. So I gotta wait for them to unload my trailer now and then head over to I just gotta look at this address here. Where am I going? I am going to Brantford, right? Yeah, Brantford, Ontario. Apparently you gotta pick it up between five and six tonight. That's a weird time to pick up a load. Usually they want us there before five or six. Gotta be there after five, before six. Odd, right? But hey, who am I to argue? Because as soon as I pick that up, we're just gonna go down to London, Ontario, Flying J. Or maybe even, I don't know, is there one further south than that? I think that's the last one, right? There is a Flying J close to Sarnia, but it doesn't have all the same facilities as the one in London. I wanna do laundry and stuff. So I'll probably go to London, Ontario, uh, get my laundry done tomorrow, get caught up with some stuff with you guys on the vlog, twiddle our thumbs a bit, play some games. And then this load's gotta be in uh, Rock Island. I think I said Rockland before. Uh, Rock Island, Illinois, on Monday at 5 a.m. 
Okay, so I gotta pick it up after 5 p.m. but deliver it at 5 a.m. They're throwing me some curveballs, I get it. I got just keeping me on my toes. I get it. Apparently it's some kind of farm equipment. Well, the good people of Illinois, I know you exist. I've got your farm stuff for you. Don't worry, it's in good hands. There's that Lego building on the right again. What an ugly piece of architecture. Somebody sat down and looked at the look at the blueprints of that thing and said, yep, that's a good idea. Let's build it. Meters, keep to the right on, Duck Valley Parkway. Modern architecture is just hideous. What happened to our culture and how we used to take pride in architecture? Beautiful buildings. Now it's like the uglier you can make it, the better it is. Am I wrong? J Travel Plaza, Brantford, Ontario. Oh, these pumps are backwards. Oh, okay, I gotta go in the other way. Okay, so I'm going in backwards right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this pump, turn around. Oh, can I even get around here? Well, this, this is a mess. been to this one before as you can tell all right we're gonna grab some fuel and then we gotta wait here for an hour before we can pick up our load because apparently we can't pick it up 
until 5 o'clock and it's 3.30 right now. So I'm going to go there for about 4.45, 4.30, 4.45. Whatever. They don't, they get mad at me because I'm early. Well then, it's better than them being mad at me for being late. We'll see what happens. And we'll load up and we'll go to London, Ontario. Find a good parking spot, pull the brakes. And enjoy our reset. Got ourselves all loaded up with another load. That's the whole thing? Whoa. Suspension is adjusting, I just filled it with air. That's the whole load. Okay then. Seal her up and go, I guess. What in the world? That doesn't... That is so strange. I'm actually gonna take a picture of that and send that in. Just in case I'm missing something here. It's, it doesn't seem like quite a bit. That seems, that seems pretty empty in there still. <laughs> and we're here. This is our home for the next two days. Let's see if we can find a nice, decent, private spot. This is quite a big parking lot here, so there should be something open. It's only 7 o'clock and uh, it might be a little full. We'll see. They got all this wasted space out here. That wasn't thought out. Probably want to be somewhere near the back, somewhere where I can walk the weasel, peace and quiet. Maybe only one neighbor, a hole right in front of me. Yep, all the way at the back. Nose right here. Usually I don't nose in, but sometimes we make exceptions. Unless I find something better, but other than that, I'm taking this one right here in front of me. You see it? We're going for it. I'm going for it. is doing in here all the way back here. Kind of thinking I should turn around. Oh no, there's lights right over there. Yeah, this will be fine. We got a nice view of nature here. The highway in the background. How about that? I'm a little nervous nosing in sometimes because the one time when my battery died, it's very hard for them to come and boost you when your truck is all the way at the back of the parking spot. Their the booster cables don't last, don't reach that long. I will walk around the lot, see if there's a better spot. I might turn myself around here yet and face out. Might be better. I turned myself around. I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> you should always back into your spot. It's... Sometimes though, like when you come right down a driveway like this, it's easy just to nose in, just to grab the spot in case like someone else is gonna grab it while you're turning around, because that happens all the time. It's usually you'll see a spot, you go to turn around and someone else just noses in or something or someone else starts backing in. I think there's a song made about that, isn't there? It's so annoying and rude, but people do it. So, you know, if it's busy and you want your spot, yeah, just whoop. As long as you can back out easily, it's, it's always safer to back in so that you can just drive straight out. So, here we are. And you know what's weird about this parking lot? There are like a dozen cars parked in the truck parking spots here, and I know why. I'm pretty sure I know why. Drivers want to save their parking spots without paying. So they go to work, they bring their truck and their car here, and when they go to work for a couple of days, they park their car in the truck parking spot so no one takes it. When they come back, they move the car out of the way and they back their truck in there so that they always have that parking, but that's how they save their spot. It's rude and it's 
bad. It's wrong. It's so annoying. This this parking lot fills right up with probably like 200, 250 trucks every night. And these morons over here are hogging the spots. There's one guy right beside me right here. It's exactly what he's doing. Like, look at this. Right there. See? I see it all the time. It's another thing that I see more so in Canada. Whenever I talk about Canadian truck stops, though, you always get the people, Trucker Josh! Why do you always rag on Canada, Trucker Josh? Because I'm, I'm Canadian. I can't be so hard on the U.S. I'm a visitor and a guest there. Yes, this stuff happens in the U.S. too, but I'm from here. I want to make things better here. And I want to point out the annoying and disrespectful things do people do here so that maybe we can change the culture a little bit. Maybe we can change things and for the better a little bit. Make things better for everybody. Because sometimes I really honestly think that people are just not self-aware. They're not taught self-awareness from childhood maybe. Or maybe they just don't care. Maybe they just flat out don't care. But I really think a lot of it is just they're not self-aware. They don't know that when they do that, it inconveniences a lot of other people. Or it's actually pretty rude to do that. They, they Maybe they come from a different culture, they moved here, they don't realize. I don't know. But maybe if I talk about it here, they watch my videos, they'll be like, oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't know that I shouldn't leave my car in a truck parking spot for days to save my spot for when I get back from a trip. It's very rude. Maybe it's just rude to me. I don't know. I'm not the arbiter of what is rude and what is not. I can only say, it bothers me. It's one of my pet peeves. I have lots of pet peeves, and I like sharing them with you, because like I said, we're going to make things better. Speaking of which, I'm going to enjoy my reset here. Now I'm going to go and have a shower. We're going to clean ourselves up all nice. We're going to do the do the laundry. And then we're just going to sit and relax. I might see you tomorrow. I might see you when I leave on Sunday. I don't know. But take care. Thanks for joining me today. It was a lot of fun buzzing around Southern Ontario here. And I love what I do. We can always make things better. I'll see you tomorrow. I pulled a Karen. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I did. I went and talked to the manager. <laughs> and he explained it all to me, so I want to set the record straight. So uh, those of you that are going, Trucker Joe! You're complaining! Want some cheese with that wine? Okay, okay, you had a point this time, alright? Yeah, but I have to complain about something, otherwise it gives you nothing to complain about in the comments section. So, uh, I talked to them about these cars parked back here, and they actually have monthly passes that they pay for. So, uh... I want to set the record straight on that one. I was wrong. I spoke too soon. But it's still annoying because they take up spots. But they're paying for them, so what, what can I say? It's, makes sense. So. Why not, right? Didn't know you could do that, but you can do that. Setting the record straight there. Trucker Josh made a mistake. At least I can admit it. 